Once upon a time, there was a village named Ramgad, and in that village, there lived a farmer named Jagannath. He had hundreds of acres of land and workers, but daily he went to farm with the workers, and if needed, used to do agricultural work. He had a faithful worker named Anil with him. Anil saw Jagannath working in the fields one day, went to him and told him, "Sir." You are the owner of this land. You have hundreds of acres of land. Why are you doing all this course? I request you to please sit and rest. We will manage the work, sir. Don't take it the other way. You are all there, I know. But since childhood, I cannot sleep peacefully without seeing this farm. No matter how much you all work, there will be no peace of mind for me if I do not work with my own hands. So I request, please don't ask me to sit. Okay, sir. But please don't mind. I want to say something. I have a piece of advice for you. I am just saying this because I have huge respect for you. You are growing older day by day. From now onwards, please take some rest at least. What man? In the name of affection, you are advising me? What do you think? Am I old man now? Sir, I didn't have that much of courage, but entrust the responsibilities to your son Satish. He is your son. He'll take the responsibilities. Hey, again you are advising me. It's my mistake that I've given you so much freedom, sir. Please don't say that. You know that in my childhood, my father had left me here. Since that day, I'm working for you. I have grown up here. With that intimacy, I was advising you. Nothing beyond that. I'm not clever than you, sir. Oh, I see. By saying you are not clever, you are talking wisely with me. That is the reason I'm not able to talk with you. Okay, okay, fine. By the way, I like your idea. Satish will come soon. Once he completes his education, I will give all my responsibilities to him, and then I will never come to the farm. Is that okay, sir? Please don't say these words. Who am I to stop you, sir? Just want to help you in the business, so I say this thing. Forgive me, please, sir. Okay, no worries. Come, let's go home. One day, Jagannath's one and only son Satish returns after completing his higher education. He wants to give his responsibilities to Satish and decides to retire himself. So one day he calls Satish and tells him, "Satish, from tomorrow you will go to farm with me. I'll teach you agriculture and farming. You are the one who has to look after all this course after me." Dad, as of my wish, you let me go for higher studies. Now I think it's impossible for me to do the agriculture business, Dad. See, Satish, we study to gain knowledge and education. Education does a great job. to make our work even more better and this isn't written anywhere that a scholar should not do farming besides that you know that we are feeding people by farming there is nothing to feel shy about our work what you say is correct dad agriculture and farming are great but i think they are not profitable we cannot expect good results even if we work year round we can't predict the droughts and heavy rain if it happens all the hard work will go in vain hey You are teaching me about agriculture. Okay, I'll leave it to you. What did you decide to do? Dad, I want some time from you. I'll try to establish a business or else I would like to do a government job. Okay, I will give you some time. For now, I think you are right. Agriculture has difficulties and losses. Do as you wish. But there is a condition. I will give you some time, son. You go. and search for the jobs that have really no difficulties and losses if you found any then i will give you the permission okay dad i'll find one and you will come to know okay but go first and meet the big businessman of our village ram singh you go and stay there for a week and learn some of the techniques from him with his father's advice satish went to that big businessman in his village named ram singh who had business worth lakhs of rupees yes sir What can we do for you, sir? My name is Satish. I am the son of Mr. Jagannath. Just recently, I came here. After completing my education, I really wanted to start a new business. So my father sent me here to learn some of the business techniques from you. Oh, you are the son of Jagannath, but you have hundreds of acres of land. Then why do you want to do business? Yeah, that's why I came to you to understand business's hardships, and with that. I'll get the experience about doing the business then I will start my own business why all new generation kids are like this your estimation is wrong you are thinking all glitters is gold dear business is not a cake walk 
Okay, fine. You want to learn some techniques. Tomorrow we will learn the ongoing transactions. Satish was very happy because Ram Singh had agreed to teach him the business techniques, and he goes home. When he reached home, his father asked him, "Oh, Satish, why are you looking so much happy? What happened there?" Yes, Dad. Ram Singh agreed to teach me the business tactics. He asked me to come tomorrow. That's nice. You stay with him. I will advise you to observe what he does. Satish says okay and leaves from there. After Satish leaves, Anil comes and says, "Hello, sir. I thought you would give all the responsibilities to Satish and will take rest, but you are encouraging him for the business." Look, Anil. He is educated. He has his own thought process. He is planning to do the business. Let's see. If he becomes successful, I'll be more than happy. Okay, sir, but I have a question. What about farming? I will take care of it as long as I have the capacity. Let's think about it later. Next morning, Satish happily goes to Ram Singh. Ram Singh has a sea trade. Every day, he imports and exports many things by ships. Hello, Satish. Come, come. Have you strongly decided to understand the business tactics? Tell me. Yes, sir. For business, I have some doubt in my mind. Will you clear them? What? You have started from the day one itself? Okay, ask. Sir, if we talk about business, which business is the most profitable one? My dear, you are very well educated. No business is profitable as before. Things are now tough. Every businessman wants to be successful, and they try anything to do that. Competition has risen everywhere. Number of traders are increased. Costs are getting too high. There is no peace and happiness for us. Then what is it? You are earning lot of money with the business, aren't you? Yes, true. But in this vast sea of the business, I may suffer the loss any time. If I want to get things from the other countries, I have to pay lakhs of rupees in advance. So I take money on interest to buy those things for my business. Then I have to make money by selling them, and after that. I will clear all my debts. In one way, I am pouring all my money into a vast sea, so I cannot have peace of mind and I cannot sleep at night until the cargo reaches the dock. But the profits are also huge, no? Look, Satish, if all goes well and we get profit, then everyone will become happy. But sometimes there are cyclones in the ocean, and then all our cargoes get damaged. Not only a single problem. My business is full of difficulties. and these difficulties make us lose our money and we get into debt because of that then how do you tackle those situations now i'm used to it in any business profit and loss are common in all situations in loss you have to keep yourself calm and focus on the bright side and keep yourself faithful and in profit don't get too excited and focus on increasing our business growth in all the situations i have to manage secretly and live my life like i used to live Ram Singh sir you mean to say that not only agriculture but even big businesses like yours also make losses profit and loss are everywhere satish that's why we cannot say that this business is good and this is bad that's why our elder says that as many trees as wind after listening about the hardships in the business he gets reluctant on business but he has no intention of going back to farming he was very confused about what he should do next So he takes a leave from Ram Singh and thinks of doing something else. He comes home. My dear Satish, why did you came so early? Have you learnt everything from Ram Singh? Dad, after listening to Ram Singh, I realized that he is also suffering like you. Same as agriculture, the field of business also has its hardships and difficulties. So now, what do you want to do, son? Dad, I know you gave me much time. But I want some more time. Now I want to take up a job. Okay, do as you wish. I will never stop you, son. I have a belief in you. But do you remember the condition? Yes, I do. In the work, I don't find any hardships. I have to take up that, or else I have to do farming with you. I remember. Okay, fine then. Tell me. Where will you go now? Dad, I have someone, my childhood friend Sudhakar. He is my very close friend. He lives in the town. I will go to him and try to ask him for some government job. After taking permission from his father, Satish leaves for town to meet his childhood friend. Anil was listening to all this conversation. 
he comes to Jagannath and says, Oh sir, Satish is going to the town again. Why is he so stubborn? Why doesn't he listen to you? You are a very good father. See Anil, in this age he will not understand anything. When I was his age, I was also like him. If I try to stop him now and he will stop, for the rest of his life he will regret that he could not do anything he wanted because of me. The, this is the reason why I am allowing him. He must learn from his experience. And I think, life is the best teacher than anyone else in this world. Yes, sir. He is very lucky to have a father like you. Now Satish goes to the town straight away and meets his childhood friend Sudhakar. Hey Satish, come, come, sit. How are you? What are you doing? It's been a long time since we met. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Let me answer too. I'm fine. How are you? You are not so good. I don't even have time to breathe because of work. It first seemed to be such a good job. But I want to quit it now. Now I've decided to do farming peacefully in my village. What? Why do you want to leave all this, buddy? Have you gone mad? You have no idea why I came here. Oh, I got that much excited that I forgot to ask you. Now, please tell me, why did you come here? Satish tells everything about the condition put forth by his father and the experience with Ram Singh. He tells everything clearly to Sudhakar. All this happened, Sudhakar? I thought you were happy in the government job. You would help me getting a job, but you also want to quit this job. What's wrong with you, Sudhakar? Why do you want to left all this and go to the village and do the farming? Tell me, what happened, Sudhakar? Wait, Satish. Let me clear you this now. Your knowledge about the government job is half. It is not easy at all. It's like a war. If higher officials get angry, I'll be the victim. Why are you talking like that, Sudhakar? They are paying you a handsome salary and status also. Then what is the problem? Please tell me. I will tell you. They are all superficial. The grass is always greener on the outer side. It seems easy and full of status, but trust me, it's not. Yes, they are providing the facilities, but really not the luxury. On top of that, they want to get the tedious work done. I am not happy at all. Satish, why are you saying all this? Then why are all these people working here? Yeah, I will tell you. To meet their family needs, they are working here. They have no other way. They have to do all this whether they like it or not. If seniors get angry, we may lose our job. Even your promotion depends on your seniors. That's the reason. Oh, Sudhakar, that's really sad to hear. I thought you would help me in getting a job and I didn't listen to my father. What? You want to do a job? Like me, I'm not happy here. For me, it's compulsion. Why do you want to do it? I have a suggestion for you. I know that you are very intelligent. As your father said, use your intelligence in farming and be happy. That will be good for you. And you can provide jobs to many people. No, in our house, everything is fine. But we don't get the monthly income. It is not so. We are not happy with the monthly salary. You should know that employees' lives are uncertain. It's definitely not like what people see from outside. These salaries are not sufficient to feed our family. Sudhakar's words opened Satish's eyes. He understood everything and came back home. Seeing his son's sad face, Jagannath asked him, What happened, son? Why are you so sad? Have you met your friend? Tell me what did he say to you? Dad, as you say, I met everyone and understood one thing. There is no work without hardships, Dad. There is a saying that the grass is always greener on the other side. As I have seen you farming since childhood, I thought it was a very small job. I lost, Dad. No, son. You are not lost. You thought there are hardships in agriculture only. But that's not true. You have experienced agriculture only. But the truth is, where there is profit, there will be definitely loss also. In the same way, where there is happiness, there will be some difficulties also. You should understand that there will be not profitable business. Hardships are all the way of our lives. One should always be self-confident. Only then, only then one can face all the hardships of his life. You are absolutely right, Dad. I am now feeling where we are. If we have the power of self-confidence, we can face any kind of hardships. I have realized my mistake. Now I will change myself. From now on, I will focus on agriculture and find ways to improve the yield. Very good. You finally came to know the value of our work. 
there will be no big and small works. All that depends on the intellect of the man who is doing it. What do you say, Anil? What will I say, sir? I will totally agree with you. And I will support Satish. <laughs> Saying this, everyone laughed. From that day onwards, Satish daily goes to farm. By using new techniques in agriculture, he doubled the yield in a very short time and became the most successful farmer in that village. Seeing all these changes in his son, Jagannath is very happy and he started to take rest. And at the same time, Anil started assisting his new boss in the day-to-day -day routine. Everyone was happy in the end. If you like the story, then please like and share it. And for more interesting stories, please subscribe to our new stories book English channel.